Hello, and welcome to the Isinga2 tutorial video for connecting Linux clients to a pre-existing Isinga master. Before we get started, let's go over some prerequisites. First, we require that you have some basic Linux skills. Second, we require that you have a Linux client machine pre-launched with port 5665 open, and preferably that it is either Fedora or CentOS based. Third, we require that you have a pre-configured Isinga master deployed with ports 5665 and 80 open. Optionally and preferably, we ask that you try and use the AWS and Azure images that we offer on the marketplace as this will contain some of the example files used in this tutorial. Last, we require that you have SSH access to both boxes and that both boxes can see each other over their respective networks. In this video, we're going to log into our Isinga client machine, download the necessary packages and repositories to be able to install Isinga, run the Isinga2 node wizard to get it configured and talking to our Isinga master, and then we're going to restart the daemon. Then we're going to log into our master, sign the client certificate associated with our newly discovered Isinga client, we're going to add a new host configuration for that box, and then again we're going to reload the daemon. Lastly, we'll log into the web console to make sure that all the checks are working and that everything is propagated appropriately. With that, let's get started. First, we need to get the proper repos associated with our Isinga client machine. Log into your box via SSH or physically log into the terminal. And depending on what operating system you're using, use yum, apt-get, or whatever package manager you have to install the ePEL repo and the Isinga repo displayed in front of you. Note, obviously, this repo will change depending on the version of the OS you're running and the version of Isinga you're using. Now that the repos have installed, it's time to install the Isinga2 packages. Install Isinga2, Isinga2 SE Linux, and Nagios plugins all using the package manager associated with your machine. Note the names of these again will change depending on the version that you're using and depending on the host operating system that it's being installed on. Assuming you're on a newer version of CentOS or Fedora, using systemctl, enable and start the Isinga2 service. Once enabled, run Isinga2 node wizard and follow the on-screen instructions. In this instance, we are going to be doing a client setup, so initially select Y. Then type in the common name of your machine, the common name of your master, as well as the IP address of your master. Skip the optional ticket prompt and select to not accept the config from the master, but to accept the commands from the parent node. After you have finished running NodeWizard, using the Isinga2 command line feature, list the features that are currently enabled and select Isinga2 feature disable checker. Next, open Etsy, Isinga2, Isinga2.com and comment out the bottom line that is labeled include recursive conf.d. Note, both of these changes are required to ensure the Isinga master remains in charge of what services should be monitored on the client machine. Now, restart the Isinga2 service daemon. On the master, change directories to Etsy Isinga2 and copy host.d slash client.sms.com.com to host.d slash the fully qualified domain name of your client.com. Then switch directories to host.d and edit the file we newly created. First, remove the comment blocks from the top and bottom of the file. Then replace the spaces where client.sms.com.conf is and replace it again with the fully qualified domain name of your client machine. Then swap the host and address variables with the IP address of your client machine as well. Finally, reload the Isinga2 master daemon. Reload, not restart it. Then using the Isinga2 command, sign our client certificate using Isinga2 CA sign followed by the fingerprint of the previously connected host machine. At this point, return to the Isinga2 web console and notice the new service checks and hosts that are in pending status. You can either wait for these services and hosts to check in on their own, or you can force a check now by selecting the check now option associated with each service and host. You should eventually receive a response saying that the services are in an okay status and the host is up and running. 
With that, congratulations. You've set up your first Linux client with Isinga 2. If you want to add any additional service or host checks, please refer to the Isinga documentation, contact us at support, or refer to one of our other tutorial videos on our website. Thanks, everybody. We hope to see you guys again.